morning. Uh, and uh, let's go through uh, the live order flow analysis here uh, in Bookmap. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, risk disclaimer: trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, let's see, you guys are uh, already in trial or, or members, so you know all of this information here. Uh, the uh, the uh, uh, Bookmap portal. Uh, where you can find all sorts of resources, uh, but uh, just in case uh, you don't know about the um, uh, YouTube page or following us on Twitter, okay, at bookmap underscore pro, uh, but the um, uh, YouTube page, uh, the um, uh, I need to give you a link uh, for all of the uh, uh, recorded webinars here. Uh, I do have them, uh, so let me uh, let me give that to you. Uh, but these are available uh, to you guys. Uh, and not for the um, uh, uh, those that are um, uh, just uh, uh, you know the, the basic public, all right? So uh, uh, we're um, honing the um, uh, content uh, for the the more advanced uh, advanced users, uh, so uh, it doesn't confuse the uh, uh, other uh, new traders here. So just a moment here, and I want to give you that link. All right, here it is. Okay, so you, you guys have been asking me about this, so uh, there's the link uh, for the um, uh, rev webinar recordings, okay? Um, and uh, uh, you can see the uh, uh, other uh, features, components, uh, video snippets, the educational course. If you guys are in trial, uh, I would uh, highly recommend that you watch a few of these video snippets just to start with, uh, and then uh, go through the educational course as well. Okay, it's four parts. Four parts here. You're going to learn about these markets, and then what Bookmap is showing you too, and then how to start using Bookmap uh, within the, within these markets. Okay, and then these are the recorded platform webinars for the basic uh, basic uh, people. Um, all right, well let's uh, let's jump in here. Uh, we had the um, uh, oil uh, fundamental release here, the uh, inventories, and uh, let's let's watch some of that uh, because uh, we, we're getting a lot of price action right now, uh, and um, uh, just uh, you can see the uh, uh, volatility back and forth here. Okay, so let's see the uh, oil inventories here. Uh, let's see what was the uh, the number. All right, so um, uh, negative uh, 1.5. All right, and the expectation was uh, negative uh, 3.2 million barrels. Okay, so um, boy, you know, I mean, some of these releases, uh, I mean, that's just um, you know, basically uh, uh, bearish activity, uh, but we're seeing a, a nice spike to the upside, but uh, right into this area on our higher time frame. Okay, so uh, just have an idea of the range that we're in uh, and the higher time frame here between, uh, well, 49, you know, 32 or something, and the lows here at 48.55. And then let's jump over to book map. All right. So, um, and, we, and I'll go through uh, any, any questions you guys have regarding the um, uh, this uh, uh, fundamental release and uh, start to understand uh, what's going on here because the basics of order flow and mechanics uh, can be seen very clearly, I think, uh, within some of these releases, uh, economic releases, because of the lack of liquidity and how the market behaves with a lack of liquidity, right? Uh, and um, uh, anyway, we can see that uh, uh, real, real uh, pretty aggressive move here to the upside. Uh, I'm looking for a uh, continuation. Uh, and uh, just why, why do I say that? Because um, uh, I'm looking at, uh, you know, maybe uh, some of the uh, uh, weaker uh, players are going to be placing some of the stops up in these areas here. Uh, and uh, this is what they looks like they're gunning for. Okay. They're gunning for that higher liquidity up at some of these areas. And we can see them uh, here uh, at 4930, uh, lining up in the book, uh, ready to, to – uh, uh, take any of those stops at some of those areas. Very high liquidity here, okay? All right, and that's how we're starting off the process here when we show up to the marketplace. Uh, we're looking for uh, the current condition of the market, 
Okay, where is the high liquidity? 237 uh, contracts, 214 contracts up here at 30 and 31. Uh, and then uh, 25 starting to show a little bit of interest as well. And then what about on the bid? Okay, well, they're down here at 49.11. Okay, uh, interesting to see this, uh, the figure here, 49 even. Uh, actually, the uh, the big move here started before that, okay? So down here at 48.95, uh, but you can see them uh, starting to line up here at 49.05, okay? So uh, uh, very little uh, traded here at the figure. Uh, usually uh, you see a lot of activity at, at the figure, okay? And you can see that in the um, uh, volume column here. Okay, look at our very low volume note here. So this actually didn't quite auction out correctly. Uh, and uh, we want to uh, uh, see that auction, uh, you know, that is, is more in line with, um, we know that there's traders in here. Uh, and uh, actually it doesn't look too bad. Here's where it looks a little, little uh, thin. Um, but uh, I mean, this is, we see the intent. Right. Look at the very, very aggressive, the big uh, green dots. OK, there's a little bit of lack in some of this area. So we might get a retest in some of that area. OK. Um, and um, uh, that's just a market auction theory. Uh, but um, uh, that's something to consider uh, if you follow that. And uh, what else uh, uh, do we see at the moment? Uh, so current configuration of the book. OK, we identified that high liquidity. OK, that's the first step. Uh, we want to understand the current uh, current market. Okay, at an auction, it's just like showing up, and uh, where are people really interested in buying or selling? And that's it. Okay, same thing we're doing here in Bookmap. Okay, now what we want to start to identify uh, is the behavior of uh, those traders uh, at these areas. Uh, do they have the intent to trade at these areas? So there might be uh, a lot of uh, sellers or a lot of buyers at a specific area, but when price approaches them, do they really want to buy or sell? And that's what we want to gauge. Okay. And this is, um, you know, uh, the data is all here. It's very objective in book map, uh, but we can't, there's no indicator uh, out there. Uh, that is going to gauge that intent to trade. Uh, I mean, we can we can um, just because a big white line uh, appears in Bookmap doesn't mean that the price is going to stop and reverse uh, or uh, you know uh, trade into that area. It just means there are a lot of buyers or a lot of sellers. Okay, but where um, this becomes and that's very objective information, but we read, need to read and understand the context of the areas around it. Uh, and that is important uh, to understand, okay? So uh, that's what we went through yesterday and uh, we'll continue to, uh, to do this. It's just what, what, uh, how, how you can really um, gauge that intent uh, to trade. And uh, that's gonna give you insight, a lot of insight uh, to the price movements. Okay, because right now, for example, uh, if you're trading um, uh, something like, uh, uh, oh, I don't know, you're, you're looking at, um, uh, you know, some sort of uh, uh, MACD crossover, or let's look at an indicator here in the sub panel or CVD, okay, uh, and um, uh, you're looking for maybe, um, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a retest of this area. Well, we might get it, okay, we, we don't know right now. Uh, but the, the real story here right now is the liquidity here between uh, 05 and, and 10. Okay. And that's where they uh, are lining up to, uh, to buy. And it's, it's the context to it right now is not a lot, right? But that's where they are. Okay. Uh, we can see that uh, beforehand uh, where they really built out the book was down in this area. This is a really nice break. Uh, this is really good data to, to look at here. Uh, high liquidity on both sides uh, and then a, a breakthrough uh, in, in trades in a battle, big battle uh, in some of these areas here and just uh, real, real strong uh, uh, upward pressure. Okay. So, you know, people flipping out, they had it wrong. Uh, they're going to be natural buyers uh, with their stops being triggered, uh, et cetera. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we're gauging the intent to the trade uh, or the traders and uh, in that auction and we're starting to understand these levels in context to the auction. 
Okay. Current auction, um, well, uh, you can see they're getting pretty interested at lower levels here at 49.20. Okay. And now they're getting tested here too. Okay, we're one tick away from that high liquidity. Look at the battle. Um, so uh, we can see uh, both sides, very narrow channel here. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so the, the, the buyers took them on. We got uh, we already got our retest of it, and, and we're off to the races here, up to our 49. Well, up to that high liquidity, okay? 49, uh, well, 39, uh, 35 to 40, okay? That's exactly where we went, right? Okay, that's why we stopped there. Okay, now that we're seeing a little bit of a rotation, uh, but um, uh, we understand that was the target. Okay, okay, and uh, you know from the get-go, uh, you know I, I I was looking for a continuation, and uh, I didn't have enough time here to to go through it. We can see a little bit of spoofing right here and here, spoofing type of activity. Okay, uh, and um, uh, that channeling and that battle that we just saw that was unfolding here. Okay, we noticed that as well. And we see the victor now, okay? And uh, I like the way this auctioned. Uh, you know, we see big green dots uh, pushing, you know, or pulling price up, okay? And uh, uh, that's, um, uh, and, we're, and we're still trading up in a range now that is up above uh, pretty high, pretty, pretty strong breakout, okay? Uh, but it uh, doesn't mean we can come back down and test the low volume node here. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm curious. I, I, I want to see if traders start to line up in this zone here around 25. Okay. They're actually down a little bit lower at 49.20. Okay. We can see them. And, and why are they here at 49.20? Because this is where we broke from. Okay. If these buyers here, this is, this is important uh, to, to understand and read book map. Okay. We can see high liquidity here. We trade through. We see the transactions take place. And this is where the initiated buying uh, started, right here uh, at 49.20. Look at them flip from offer to bid. Okay, And uh, they're lining up here to support price. So uh, they want to be buyers again down at this area. So this might be our new range uh, and uh, value area of 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 what uh, uh, traders consider the value of of uh, crude oil. Okay, between forty nine twenty and forty nine forty, and that is currently where we are channeling. Okay, look at now we're starting to read the context of that breakout. Okay, this is a little different uh, than previously. Okay, this is a little it's showing a little more weakness here now. And why do I say that? Because we're coming down. Okay, let me back up for a minute, and let me show you. Look at this range here. Okay. This range here has been broken. If we zoom out, look at this range here. Okay. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this. Okay, but uh, I, I want you to to understand this point. This range here is pretty bullish, okay, because the price action is taking place at a higher area. Okay, we did not come. This is a very strong breakout. We did not come back down to where we uh, originally broke from down here in this area. Okay, uh, instead we break higher yet again. Right? And that is bullish. And that's why I was looking for extension to the upside. Okay. Does, does, um, does everyone understand that? So then, then what, what's the, what's the difference here uh, in, uh, in this range, in this breakout? Anyone? And why, why am I calling this a little bit weaker? Short trap, Adam? Um, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Um, this might be a little trap right here. Uh, that, that's very possible. Uh, this this uh, uh, little micro range right here, 
And, and why do I say that? Because, I mean, we see the same thing kind of repeat again and again. Look at this little microstructure range, and uh, we have not come back down to it yet. All right? So we're back up into our previous range. So you might be right, Adam, on this. It might be uh, trap volume. Uh, and uh, and we'll see one more push to the upside here. And here, here we go. Let's see. Okay. And now my expectation for this next push is less than the previous one, or maybe equal to the previous push. Okay. So somewhere about this about this range between uh, 23 and um, uh, 38. Okay. So uh, that's uh, what 15 15 ticks, right? Okay. So I'm expecting this breakout here to be uh, less than or equal to 15 ticks. Okay. And why 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 do I expect that? Or anticipate that uh, action. Right? I mean, well, we can see really high liquidity up here now at the figure, half figure, uh, 49.50, uh, really starting to get interested in, in this area here. Okay, well, so let's, let's go through it again. Okay, so this range is at a pretty high level here. This is a pretty strong breakout. Let's measure this breakout here, okay, into that high liquidity. Okay, I'm actually surprised that this really strong breakout did not go up into uh, the uh, 30, 49, 30 area here. It kind of, kind of basically uh, exhausted out a little bit and went sideways, and then we see the break here uh, to the upside into 30 and and a bit beyond. Okay, now we're getting up into 40, uh, and uh, and it's and now it's now it's kind of struggling. Okay, and we anticipated that already. The reason and why we anticipated that um, to be a, a less significant breakout is because we can see it waning here. The breakout here uh, was um, not as strong. Okay, and the pullback was stronger. All right. So Adam uh, correctly identified the trap volume here in the microstructure. Uh, we can see it. Okay. This little, this is where that uh, that volume was trapped. Was right in this area right here where they hit the bid pretty or lifted the offer pretty hard. Okay, and we get our retest here, and you know on some of these little areas as well. Okay, and that's a microcosm of some of the other things we're looking at, and that's why it's microstructure. Uh, anyway, the um, uh, this breakout here, the pullback was very shallow, so I'm anticipating movement to the upside. To find high liquidity to still value, to find value, to, to determine the value of this instrument. What is it worth to traders? Okay, look at them lining up here now at 49.20, um, much more so than, than before. Okay, so they, this is where they wanted, this is where we didn't get a retest of 20. We got, we almost did here, uh, and then we, get, we see one more push to the upside. They're lining up here at 20 though. Okay, now I would start to anticipate these guys lining up here at 20 to not only get tested, but I would start to anticipate it to trade uh, potentially. We'll get a bounce here and maybe a move back up into 30 and then continuation to the downside. Okay, and it's, it's already on, on the move. Uh, we have already broken out of the microstructure. Okay, I, I just don't have enough time to go through all this. Um, there, so why, why I say that? Uh, boy, let me finish one point and then move to the next. The, um, the pullback here was shallow. The pullback here was deep. The breakout here was not as strong. The breakout here uh, was even less strong. That's why I was looking for less than or equal to 15 ticks. Okay, We didn't even get 15, not even close. All right. And, uh, and then now uh, we can see the pullback to this area here. It tested right it tested it and there were buyers they supported it for a little bit okay we got another retest of the high now look at the high though look at the buying up here in these areas here very little okay uh, we see high liquidity at the at the half figure right uh, and um, and we see that uh, uh, this move was was pretty meager and we see immediate retest of that move 
Okay, and we then we see the breakdown here. Okay, so uh, uh, that's why uh, I was anticipating a move back down into 49.20. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, instead uh, we we didn't we got about halfway there and then we got a, a little bit of a shift. Okay, so um, we may still might get that one more big push into the half figure here. That's possible. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, but uh, that's one scenario here uh, that can unfold. Another scenario is testing uh, 20, uh, and then uh, we might see, um, we need to see if they're still interested here, and then that intent to trade. Uh, and uh, and then maybe we'll get the bounce up into to 50, right? Uh, but um, a, another scenario, uh, and uh, why I'm leaning toward it uh, is uh, the breakdown of uh, of 20 uh, is just due to the news uh, and um, uh, you know just to due to what we saw and not only due to the news due to the breakouts that I'm, I'm witnessing and the pullbacks uh, so the value of this currency now a <laughs> currency of this uh, commodity uh, is between 20 and 40 or you know basically up to 40 and 50 uh, so um, and we are channeling between those value areas. Okay, responsive buyers down here, responsive sellers up in this area. All right. Okay. So um, uh, anyway, that's uh, any questions? Uh, pretty pretty detailed analysis here. Uh, uh, and um, and some more advanced concepts for you guys, but uh, I think that uh, you will find it helpful. All right, and I'm just, you know, we're very objectively looking at this this process here of reading the the auction. Okay, we're reading also the moves. We're also reading the trading ranges. Okay, but within those moves and within those trading ranges, we're very objectively reading the auction, where they're lining up and their intent to trade. Okay, we haven't even really covered, uh, I've, I've covered some, but we haven't really covered much of the traded volume. Okay, that's the, uh, the reading the tape here. Uh, and... Um, well, we covered a little bit here on that retest of the high. Here, here we go. Let me see if we get our uh, 49.50 area here. Now, what we're going to have to have, what are we looking for here if we're going to get a test into 50? Anyone have an idea? Yeah, that's right. We're looking for, for really, really big green dots to pull the market up. Aggressive buying. Yep, exactly. Exactly. And here we go. Okay, here we're starting to see, look at that volume cluster here of aggressive buy volume. And these guys pull at 49.40. Okay, 49.50 is in, it's, it's in the, you know, it's on the radar here. Now I'm looking for, okay, are they going to support it here uh, around um, uh, 37 or so? Are they going to show up again and start buying more aggressively here? Okay, let's see if the high liquidity comes in at this area. Okay, we want to see high liquidity here, skew the book, and we also want to see that combined with aggressive buying to pull that market up. And we want to see them pull at 49.45 uh, to get up in here to 50. Okay, here we go. Now they're they're adding up here, you know, maybe at uh, at 30, but that's that's not very aggressive. That's far away. Okay, here just uh, just aggressive buying basically. 49.45. Okay, let's get our test. Come on, guys. They might need a little push here, so let's see. Front some front running starting to come in, but before the figure, half figure. Okay. Now, due to that front running here, uh, that's when a lot of times we'll see um, that, um, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see the skew in the book on the other side here on the bid. 
because these guys are getting eager here to to get get filled. Okay, so <laughs> the larger players, uh, you know that that how are they going to get how are they going to get filled? They've been waiting up here. How long have they been waiting? Oh, they're getting tested now. Okay, let's see if we get that skew. No, they just they just buy it up. Wow. Okay, there we go. We got our test. Okay, and I'm looking for now. Now we want to see if uh, we have 60 on the map. Okay, we also have them getting a little more aggressive here. They want to be buyers here uh, at uh, at 39. Okay, but uh, the, look at the breakout here. It's pretty meager. Okay, maybe just one more push. Come on, one more push, and just really get people going. Any weaker hands that started selling here, they're going to be covering if we get that one more push. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, now we're, we're starting to see the sell-off starting starting to occur, we're starting to see a little bit of a rotation. Okay. We are below uh, where they were starting to buy here just to push it up uh, in, through 50. Okay. Now look at the behavior here and the intent to trade. Okay, they're they're showing high liquidity at lower levels here. Okay, and look at the what? Look, how about the retest? Look at the the high here, very little. Okay, none here. Okay, no aggressive volume. So now we we might start to see that shift uh, in the order flow. Okay, what we need to see now and what we're looking for uh, is um, aggressive uh, sell volume at at lower lows. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're not we're not getting that right now, not yet, not yet. Okay. I want to see a, a lot of selling at lower lows. The commitment of those uh, sellers, instead, they're starting to dry up in some of these areas. It's pretty is pretty weak. Okay, I mean we are selling off. Okay, we're down to forty. Uh, but um, uh, we we want to see uh, you know that uh, that that tape uh, start to. Uh, uh, tell us that uh, you know the order flow has kind of shifted over. Okay, we saw the shift over here with that high liquidity, but this is very short term. If they want to be sellers, they'd, they'd stay in the book. Okay. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Holding up these um, uh, these little microstructural areas, you can gain a lot of insight from these microstructural areas. Uh, it leads to the bigger moves, and this is where Bookmap is going to help you uh, is, is start to identify this. Uh, Adam started to identify this area here as a, a you know potential uh, a trap, and uh, and that's exactly what it was. Okay, we even get one more retest here. But we're still not getting down into uh, that volume down here, right? Daily moving average is at 47. Ah, okay. Um, Rick, I uh, uh, I can send you a link uh, to this uh, this webinar here. Okay. Uh, it's in it's in the chat as well. Uh, you can see it there. Here, I'll, I'll put it in again. I still have it loaded. There you go. Okay. Now you know. Obviously, it's going to be up in a, in a bit. Um, but um, uh, anyway, it's going to take a you know probably look for it in about an hour and a half or so. Okay, so Adam, uh, interesting. Um, uh, so you're saying, I'm sorry, you're saying at 47, 49, 47. Okay, so uh, looking at that 200 uh, uh, moving average. Okay, gotcha. Um, the um, uh, well, you know, uh, you know, the, maybe the the longer term traders are looking at that. You know, this is why I, I don't really like looking at uh, moving averages because uh, I don't know who's looking at it. Uh, I don't know what who's committed. Uh, it's it's not very objective for me. Okay, knowing where the traders are lining up, 
And that intent to trade is very objective. I know they're there. I see it. I can see them getting filled. I can see them staying in the book. Uh, that's what I want to know. I, I don't care about a moving average. I don't care about uh, some derivative of price. Okay. Uh, the cumulative volume delta is also, you know, it's a derivative. Uh, it, it's, a, uh, uh, it's an indicator. Uh, it's, it's measuring and it's a good one. I mean, I like it, uh, but, um, uh, it's, it's still, and a lot of traders use it, but we're, you know, um, I, I can, I want to know where the traders are committed and what kind of trading it is. Okay. This is, this is basically exactly what we've been looking for here. Maybe that one more push, uh, and then exhaustion is kind of what I was looking for. Um, but we didn't even get that and we still might, we still might. Right. Um, but, um, because we can see another range uh, starting to develop here, okay, uh, right here, right? And you can see that's where the uh, the buying started. So are they going to start supporting that once again here at that level, right? That's what we want to know, all right? And what about the micro range? Well, let's see. Now you can see them lining up here wanting to absorb at 49.40, okay? So uh, there's there's the there's the analysis I'm looking for. Uh, I want to see that auction uh, to support price where they were supporting it earlier. Okay. Now we can draw a little trend line in here, and right here, right here is where I'm looking for. Let's see if those buyers are really committed. If they are, uh, we'll see green, big green dots pulling that price up into higher higher high, or at least to test the previous high. And it's looking pretty meager right now, not getting much. All right, now uh, let's see. Let's see if they uh, they let's draw a trend line in here as well. Okay, and that's what we're looking at. Okay, I want to see volume. Uh, trade above not only this trend line but also this little swing here. So 49.45 is is where the action is going to take place. Okay, we might see it in in even a like a really you know uh, micro range here take place uh, as well. We can keep an eye on it. Okay, right now I'm starting to see sellers line up. You know, aggressive sellers trying to chew through 49.40, but uh, that can that can flip very quickly. Okay. And we'll see. All right, now we get the breakdown here. Okay, it's still pretty meager here. I mean, like, uh, you know, this can reject as well. You know, looking for now, looking for this is going to be your trap, right? The breakdown of 49.40 or 39. Uh, this could this could be the potential trap. But I'm not seeing a lot of committed sellers here, right? and that's what I was looking for. Uh, and um, not not yet. I mean, that can happen in a heartbeat as well. But right now, we don't know if they're going to show up or not. Okay, if they are, uh, we'll see the the book skew and the aggressive uh, uh, selling here. Okay, starting to get some. Okay. And you can you can see it in here. Okay, but it's still pretty meager, but it, it is pulling price down. Okay. Now we're testing here where we broke from previously. Okay, so now now it's this range here. Now let's see if those buyers show up. Okay. Showing pretty aggress uh, aggressive behavior here in the book. But no commitment on the tape. And it's just kind of going back and forth here. Um, and a heat map here. Let's uh, let's adjust this a little bit. It's not, not helping. All 
All right, that's a little bit better. I mean, it's high liquidity uh, and it's very aggressive. So the battle's getting ready here. We're shaping up for the battle. I'm just not seeing any commitment here on the on buy or sell side. Okay, and the liquidity also is not very committed here, at uh, at 32. Uh, and also here, pretty far away at 40. Okay, this might be, uh, look for these areas here. A lot of times you'll see um, uh, the larger players start to enter their targets first. Okay, 49, 45. Okay, we know we can see the behavior. Okay. They're getting first in line, and that is their intent. Okay, now we might see something happen here. Okay, uh, and uh, let's see if we get the skew. Okay, the liquidity is pulling here at 36. We're getting the skew, and let's see the aggressive buying. Okay, let's see it, guys. Okay, testing our trend line. But it's still it's still above here where I'm I'm, I'm more interested. Okay, nothing to ha hang our hat on uh, at the moment. Okay, you can also see that, uh, you know, the traders lining up immediately after here, targeting this area uh, on the on the bid Okay, at, at 28. 28 is kind of funny. Uh, it's just below the swing here, down here, but it's not where we broke from here. Okay. <coughs> All right. Yeah, I'm still not getting any insight here. Okay, that was that picture was very different over in these areas where it was it was very insightful. We saw the commitment, we understood the liquidity, we understood the the intent to trade. And we started to anticipate these price movements. Right now, I, I, I don't know. Okay, and, uh, and Bookmap's telling me that. I'm just reading it. Okay, here's the skew. Okay, at, at 34, we still, you know, we need the aggressor. Also, another thing, notice how, now, okay, this is kind of medium-term liquidity between uh, this 28 and this 45 area, and we're channeling between it, okay? And it, it's, it's longer-term liquidity, or more, it's longer than this area here. Uh, look what's happening in between that longer-term liquidity. There's very short-term high liquidity, okay? Little auction skews. I mean, that's usually where you see a lot of that uh, activity, and that's why you get these little trappy areas between high liquidity and a range. All right. Yeah, it's. I mean, uh, there's there's really no. I don't really see any commitment here. Uh, so. When we when we see things like this, okay. Now, you, let's say we saw right in this area here. So this is how to maybe start to. Uh, it's hypothetical because I'm you know I'm looking for. Let's say we saw big green dots in this area here. Well, look for a quick retest or just join in, just jump in. Okay, this is a strategy we went through in part three of the bookmap education series. Uh, let me show that. Okay, it's on the uh, it's on the 
um, YouTube page, part three right here. Okay, uh, so um, uh, that's where you can uh, you can find it here. And you're, it's it's hard to catch these. If I mean we don't have an insight here, so it you know they can just jump in very quickly, uh, skew the book, sweep the book, uh, and then have aggressive buying uh, all of a sudden like move price quickly. We're seeing a skew here, okay, at a higher area. Uh, let's see if we get hit our target here at 45. Okay, this looks pretty good. All right. So what I'm what I'm getting at here um, is when we don't know uh, and don't have that insight, um, you know, the, the movement will happen very quickly, uh, and um, uh, that's where you're just going to have to you're going to have to jump in with a market buy. All right. Else, uh, another strategy is you can look for the pullback. Okay. You, and you got two of them here, right here, one and two. Okay. But on those kind of pullbacks here, uh, look at the volume that traded here. Nothing. Right. So you're not going to get filled. So the aggressor, the aggressor, uh, that behavior is just going to pull price up quickly. Right. So. Uh, uh, that's why, uh, you know, you might need to uh, just aggressively jump in. Now, in this context here, um, it, it is still not telling. Uh, and the reason being is that we need we need more commitment here on the buy side. Right? And I just don't see it. Uh, so I, I, you know, I would stay away. But if we did start to see this microstructure broken and we start to see the... Um, uh, uh, aggressive uh, 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 buyers starting to jump in and we see a skew of that book, uh, then uh, uh, a potential strategy for using that information uh, is to uh, jump in looking for those, following those uh, initiated uh, buyers to pull price up out of the level. Okay, or look for the pullback. Okay, there's, so there's two. Now, you, another thing is you might not get the pullback to where it it broke from, like in this case here. Uh, but uh, you can you can place it maybe a tick or two higher. Uh, and uh, if, if you know if you're looking for the pullback, right? You might take a you know a little bit of heat, uh, but you will be in uh, with the initiated buying. Okay, hopefully, there's not a lot of contracts that trade on the sell side, so you might not get in. So just keep keep that in mind, um, as you know, price uh, leaves the you know the station, uh, it leaves you behind. Okay, well we almost got up. We have, we came one tick away from our 49.45 area here, uh, and uh, that was it. But we do have the microstructure broken here, uh, around 37, and we're testing that area right now. Yeah, I, you know I still like. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting too much insight here. Uh, starting to see some aggressive uh, limit orders on the uh, on the sell side. That's that's uh, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll see the sellers now start to get committed here. Okay. Okay, and then and then what will this what will this volume be up here? Anyone? Yep, exactly. Yeah, it'll, it'll be trapped. It'll be trapped volume. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Let's call it a day. Uh, and um, uh, we will uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. You guys, you're welcome. Okay. Bye bye.